time to shine a light on all things good. That friendly the Lynette segment is all about. I want to know what's going right in your world so I can celebrate you. I want to thank Harry Sperlin for sharing her good news with me. She sent me this picture. Here's the deal. She's in her son's car, packed with everything he owns. He's moving from California to Virginia because her sweet boy, Justin, just graduated from MK School in Yorktown, Virginia, and he is now a United States Coast Guard Petty Officer. Congratulations, and thank you for your service. And I want you to meet a young lady with a bright future. This is 17-year-old Anthea Fisher. She was among the top performers from the Capistrano Unified School District, and she's in the Honor Choir, Honor Band, and Honor Orchestra. They performed at the Seekerstrom Performing Arts Center. What a great honor. I know your family and friends are so proud of you, and so are we. Cynthia Sylvia from Huntington Beach linked up with me to share her family's good news. They just celebrated their patriarch's 90th birthday. His name is Raymond Silva, and he spent his day surrounded by love, family, and lots of birthday cake. Happy birthday to you. Kale Russell is celebrating her son, Sergeant Stephen Russell. He just retired from the LAPD Air Support after 20 years of service. Here he is with his kids, Justin and Riley. It's a proud moment for him, the department, and his entire family. And finally, help me celebrate this couple, this beautiful couple. Look at them, 75 years of marriage. Mark and Maxine Davenport. They are 91 and 93 years old. They have three kids, nine grandchildren, and more than 20 great-grandchildren. They are devoted to each other and their family. Dad still drives, plays the piano, and for 75 years, he has signed every single card to his sweetheart with the same, the same line, all my love, all my life. A beautiful love story. Thank you so much for linking up with me and sharing it. Now it's time for you to celebrate your good news. Please share it with me. It's super easy to link up with me. All you have to do is reach out to me on my social media. You can find me on Facebook, on Instagram, at Twitter, at Lynette Romero. You can also email me at lynette.romero at ktla.com. I need names, pictures, a few details, and hashtag link up with Lynette so I can celebrate you. Once again, we'd like to shine the light on all things good. This week in my Link Up with Lynette segment, I want to introduce you to a group of kids whose school project is changing lives, especially for a boy named Justin. He wants nothing more than to be just like every other kid on the soccer field or the playground or even in the classroom. And now he can. from Olinda Elementary School in Brea might seem typical, but they're not. Look closer. Let's set everything up. You see, they're scientists, computer wizards, and inventors. It's working. And they're also really good friends to a kid who's just like them, but can't talk. My name is Justin. How old are you? I am 13 years old. Justin Spielman was born with a genetic disorder. This is my talker. It helps me speak. But he loves making friends and playing games like kickball and soccer. But he can't carry his talker, a very expensive and fragile computer, all over the field. I'm excited. <laughs> no problem for fifth grade geniuses. Try touching that button. Yes. Try touching another button. Yes. We thought that, hey, there's a whole world of unfortunate people who can't communicate. So we thought, Hey, why don't we make it wearable? It's called the Vest Buddy. These fifth graders, determined to help Justin talk, turned it into an award-winning science project. Here's how it works. We have to touch a ground button from a Makey Makey and press another button to receive a message with the help of Raspberry Pis and a power pack. What do you think of the vest that your friends made you? Good. It's kind of like really special for him to be able to like be able like wearing it and then he likes it too which um it's really exciting i i'm almost in tears about it that they would care so much about justin um their teacher miss burner uh, told them about justin and they were so inspired by him that they wanted to do something for their science project to help other children and i honestly think it's 99 percent heart and one percent science the hope is that these kids will be able to turn their science project into a reality for other kids who can't speak or for stroke victims, the elderly, really anyone in need. You don't really need words to see why it works. Well, if you want more information about the Vest Buddy, or maybe you want to help these kids take this school project, 
to the next level, you can contact Brea Olinda Unified School District. You can find them online at bousd.us, or you can also link to the KTLA website, and we'll help you find them and see more on this. We'll be right back.